I'm a painter wannabe. I have no talent because I, I lack the concentration to deal with it, the discipline. Uh, but I admire it, and I, boy, I admire people who can paint. So I study it, you know, to learn what I can learn. There are some things we should all know. Uh, do you know this painting? It's an American icon. It's Whistler's mother. Anna Matilda McNeil Whistler, what a name, is the woman you see in the painting. Obviously, it's Whistler's mother. Her son was American-born, but British-based painter James McNeil Whistler. Anna, the mother, was born in North Carolina. Her father was a physician. The family on her other side were one of the founders of the University of New Brunswick. In 1831, she married a guy named George Washington Whistler. He was a civil engineer, farm, former army officer, a widower who had three children. They moved to Russia for a while uh, after he accepted a job there. She returned to the U.S. to live in Connecticut, but was in poverty. Her daughter, uh, she was made a widower very young, uh, I think before she was 40. Her daughter remained in Europe, and she married very, very well, and she helped her mother out and sent her brothers, including the painter, to private schools. One brother, James, entered uh, the West Point before his 17th birthday. Wow. Uh, he was expelled. <laughs> he moved back to England. Uh, her son, William, became a surgeon in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. In 1863, at the advice of her stepdaughter and son, she moved to England. She was 67 at the time when she sat for this painting. Uh, she died a decade later uh, and is buried over in England. But in London, when she arrived, she was really taken aback. This is a deeply religious woman, a uh, hardworking woman. Uh, and she was really taken aback by this bohemian lifestyle her son had taken on. But she, you know, she's a mother. She accepted it. And she became a house mother to him and his equally bohemian friends. And sometimes she worked it as she worked as their business manager, which I think is interesting. In 1871, Whistler, her son got a commission from this guy, and he said he wanted them to paint a picture of his daughter. They tried several sittings. The daughter, Maggie Graham, apparently was a very difficult person. and But anyway, he, he tried to finish the painting. They couldn't get together on it. And he already had this prepared canvas, so he thought, well, why waste it? And he asked his mother to literally stand in for uh, Graham, should she ever snap out of it and come in for her, her painting. So she would, apparently they were physically about the same size. She He would paint the body and then put the head on later on. Still, the face later on, still, it was difficult for her. She's 60, 66 at this point. Very difficult for her to stand for long, long periods of time. And finally she said, look, I, I need to sit down. So we went and got her a chair. And she was then very well at ease and... He painted the picture. By the way, it's a very large painting. I don't think people realize. It's almost five feet by six feet. And the actual name is Arrangement in Gray and Black Number 1. The initial reviews by the art world were not nice. and They were pretty mean. And the Royal Academy rejected it initially. Then they took it as part of its collection. So now, when you see this painting again next time, you know the background. All right?